बेटा लुक इन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इट इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग रिग्रेशन को एफिशियंस यू आर गिवन वाई आई हैट इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट थ्री थ्री माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर एक्स आई एंड यू आर गिवन दैट वाई आई इज परसेंटेज वेरिएशन इन द रियल वेज एंड एक्स आई इज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट एंड यू नीड टू गो अड एंड इंटरप्रेट द मीनिंग ऑफ द एस्टिमेटेड को एफिशियंस सो यू नीड टू इंटरप्रेट दिस को एफिशियंट एंड दिस को एफिशियंट बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will start with the interpretation of 8.33 which is the intercept term notice that you will get this 8.33 only when you plug in xi as 0 so when i go ahead and i plug this value as 0 i will get my yi hat is equal to 8.33 minus 0.84 into 0 and this is going to be 8.33 right so it means that when my unemployment rate in the economy is zero then the real wage percentage change in real wage will come by 8.33 also notice that there is a negative sign that we can go ahead and we can see between the real wage and the xi there is a negative sign that i can see and negative sign means that there is inverse relation between real wage and unemployment rate unemployment rate and clearly isn't that the definition of the uh, phillips curve so if i take percentage change in the real wage here and if i take unemployment rate here then i know that there is an inverse relationship between the two right and when my unemployment rate is plugged in at zero when i plug in my unemployment rate at zero then i get that the percentage variation in real wage is 8.33 so which means that beta if i were to go ahead and draw this curve of course i won't be able to draw a curve like this q because this is linear this represents a linear line so i cannot have a curve right i need to draw a linear line here so i will notice here that here beta this intercept will be 8.33 right and then if you notice here you notice that this is minus 0.84 negative sign shows downward sloping and if i were to find the slope of this line it will be 0.84 if i were to find dy by dx then it will be 0.84 with a negative sign y represents the percentage change in real wages and x represents the unemployment rate and this is minus 0.84 am i clear with that part okay now because this is regression line so if i were to interpret the, the value of minus 0.84 you need to remember that this y i had it will be in the average terms so ideally in a regression equation whenever we talk about beta 2 beta 2 hat rather it says what is the change in the expected value of y when x changes so this basically goes ahead and it represents the change in expected value of y when there is a change in the x so therefore what i can go ahead and say is that one when unemployment rate increases by one unit on an average using this word is very important because we talk about always the average changes the expected changes so we can say on an average there will be 0.84% fall in the real wage there there will be 0.84% fall in the real wage why am i using percentage this is a simple linear model by percentage because it is given that this is measured in percentage otherwise if they would have just said variation in real wage and they wouldn't have used percentage then here i would have i would have said that 0.84 unit fall in the real wage i am being able to use the word percentage here because in the question itself i am given the term percentage am i clear with it okay beta thank you